podcast episode 78 of the podcast 3.0 blank paper. So, I mean, look at that thing. It needs help. No, there's nothing on it. But, but look, isn't it old? I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't even have any sound. What's the point? What's the point in a blank paper? What's the point in a blank paper if it doesn't make any noise? I, I don't know how I'm going to get to the podcast here without my blank paper. I, I just... I, I need something to... I don't know. I, I, something feels wrong. It feels wrong not having a blank paper to rattle around. Three hours of sleep and still going. Monster. No, I don't get... get I should I should get advertising kickbacks for Monster Wolf. Hmm. And uh, caffeine can strunk, can stunt your growth, so don't drink coffee. I had something interesting come up this week. I've run into a number of people that I am. Well, no, see, see this isn't going to be the normal Jesse rant sort of thing, okay? Well, then again, what rant isn't normal? I've run into the people this week, maybe over the last two or three weeks, and if I didn't know better, I'd be angry at these people. I'd be thinking about calling a lawyer. I'd be like thinking about slashing their tires. You know, like I, I'd be mad if I didn't understand one thing. Personality disorders. A personality disorder is a set of behavior judged to be enduring, inflexible, maladaptive, disturbing, and impairs social functioning. And yes, I have that memorized. That's according to Myers, I do believe. Now, a complex, and I can't remember the first letter, so I have it written down. A complex is a core pattern. I, I can't remember that part, but I can remember the rest. A complex is a core pattern of emotions, memories, perceptions, and wishes of the personal unconscious organized around a common theme. Um, basically, a complex is where you've had this delusional childhood trauma hope and it's become more than your identity. It has to be who you are. It's the person who's not just the waiter. He's the waiter everywhere. And, and it's, it's, it's not just the guy that conquers other countries and takes over the world as a dictator. He has to be the one that they love as he does it. You know, that's a complex. A personality disorder is like weird, creepy, almost haunting, crazy, that can never, ever change. Like the cat chasing the laser pointer never figures it out. Just can't ever, ever change or learn or figure it out. No matter the danger, you could have a train coming on the tracks to kill them unless they figure it out and they won't figure it out. And it's like, wow, that's personality disorder. Kind of, maybe. Okay, this is, so you have to say this for the obvious, especially those in Read Rapids. This is uh, not professional advice. In fact, we need to know these types of things kind of off the cuff so that we know that we need to get professional advice. I, I, don't, I don't think there's a single psychologist on earth that doesn't want people to recognize and learn from psychology so they can know when to ask for professional help. So study psychology, but not to be the expert, but to know when you need to get help from the expert. Okay, so and my, mother, my mother was a, a licensed social worker. She studied college under DSM-3, and she worked in social work for 13 years. 
Um, and, uh, you know, so we, 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 I'd, I'd hear the psychobabble around the kitchen table and, and we'd talk about problems and we'd analyze people. I'd listen to Kevin Lehman on the radio as a kid. <clears throat> Pardon my French. I, I, more monster. We need more monster. So I've learned to identify when someone might really have issues inside. They're not just being a mean, angry person, but they have issues. Mm. Arguably, everyone who has bad behavior has issues. Arguably. But rather than being mean to people, rather than than holding a grudge, rather than staying angry forever, rather than, than trying to slash tires, I've come to early and quickly identify, you know what? That person needs help. That looks like crazy. It's time to call the white coats. It's time to get a white coat for that person. This isn't time to be angry because People that are crazy can really make you angry. And I'm not talking about diminishing them. Oh, that's just a lesser crazy person. That's not what I mean. When someone is doing this bad thing, the person needs to stop. Criminals don't get off scot-free. At least they shouldn't just because they're crazy. They get help if they're crazy. And then when they're not crazy anymore, they finish serving their prison sentence. It's kind of like you serve the sentence... Uh, in the insane asylum rather than the normal prison. Like, it, that, that's what the insanity plea is supposed to be about anyway. So when someone's crazy, don't take it personally. You know, I've, I've had maybe five people just in the last week, and I finally realized, you know, this person, this is, we could be looking at, at PPD, the, the paranoid personality disorder. It's that person that's like angry and offended and outright scared that, that you're there. I mean, and what are you going to do to them? What do you want? What do you, you know, and he's like, no, it's not my, my fault. Not my fault. It's your fault. It's not, it's not my problem. I don't, you know, and it's just, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. When people do that, they've got to stop and take ownership, but don't let it make you nuts. So I've had, I've had these people that have really done some crazy things to me. And because I'm able to look through all this, I can say, you know, I'm going to try to help. Even if someone's not crazy, I'm going to try to help. If someone's doing bad things, they need to get back on track. They need to do the right thing. But I'm not going to be authoritative and pound my fist. I'm going to try to lift. I'm going to try to help. I'm going to try to be nice. And I want that person to know that I'm not sneaking around trying to get them. Usually, however we want to hurt someone, that, that person has a pattern of instigating that and it's all in the mind. There really isn't a reason to get them. Don't, don't lift, shine the light. When you see people that need help, you know, Try to be positive and not just run around and cut arms off and hack arms off with machetes or, you know, metaphorically or hopefully not literally. My goodness. Uh, yeah, we're out of time and I need to get to the point. Do, do, do. <clears throat> Don't be numb to crazy. People who drive people crazy are probably crazy people. Review the personality disorders and a handful of the top complexes. Mental health means living a productive life, maintaining happy friendships, ability to adapt, and being able to deal with adversity, not melting down or throwing a tantrum because of an opponent. <clears throat> <clears throat> don't be numb to crazy people who drive people crazy are probably crazy people review the personality disorders and a handful of the top complexes 
Mental health means living a productive life, maintaining 